in a film like this, inevitably there's going to be some stuff that doesn't make the final cut. What can we look forward to in deleted scenes? The scene in the morgue continues that we had to cut that down, so there's a lot of handling on Zach's part. There's also a scene where Zach is dressed up as a woman. That scene continued, by the way, which got cut down. There's also a scene where liquid necrotic fat from a dead person is dripping into Zach's mouth. We, that scene went very long, it was so funny. And it's cut down for the movie, but when you see it, the deleted, it's just shit, it's so, well, by the way, that's the beauty of a rated R movie, where you have no handcuffs, and anything you could think of, we're gonna shoot. There was a scene in the um, bathroom of the party scene at oh, Leeds John, Club yeah. with John Bass and Hannibal and a friend of mine named Devin Retre who was Buzz in Home Alone. And I believe it was sort of, it was a very funny scene. I don't know how to describe it, but I think it was like a miscommunication between someone wanting to buy drugs versus someone else interpreting that as wanting to oh, buy yeah. sex. Yeah. Um, and the three of them are great comedians and... Um, Hamill Burris is really Yeah, he's really great. I hope that that scene ends up on, on the, the DVD extras because they're, they're all really, really funny guys and I'm sure that scene is hilarious. I'm terrified of what's on the DVD extras. <laughs> I really enjoyed a scene where um, I tell Zach that Mitch once sent me a, uh, a, a dick pic but there wasn't enough room on the screen for the whole of it. Um, it was just a really, really endearing moment, I felt like, for Stephanie. Because she finally let herself like have a sense of humor a little bit, yeah. and it was gone, and I was like, oh no, now she's just this serious robot all the time. I would say the scene that I will miss the most that got cut was my uh, third dick scene. Um, where I get my, I, I'm walking around a room and my dick is just getting stuck in everything uh, in the room and uh, it's, it's really, it's, you know, it's a really uh, phenomenal uh, feat, of, feat of physical comedy. One of my favorites was uh, in the beginning of the movie I'm sort of standing at the edge of my club and just watching DJ run by. And um, so the scene in that was he comes up to me and says hi and I'm sort of like, my a Victoria's fake sort of, oh, you're so amazing, charming, charm thing. And then I turn around and I'm walking away and there's a little crab that's walking on my property. And Victoria doesn't like that. So I just sort of step, put my heel into the crab and went, oh, crab. <laughs> so, you know, really fun scenes like that, that you'll see, there'll be, there'll be some good ones. What is your funniest and most memorable moment from filming? Honestly, the funniest moment for me is we have a scene that is shot in the morgue and it is, and we have to investigate why a man was murdered. So we're, look, we're investigating his body. And so we had this, the, this actual... Prosthetic. Prosthetic made, yes, exactly. Where I tell him, listen, you gotta, you gotta investigate, you know, his scrotum and his, <laughs> his ball sack. And Zach has to grab it and he has to grab his penis and... <laughs> I'm just laughing now. It was the funniest thing, because I'm still a 16 year old boy at heart. I could not stop laughing. It's every just dumb boy's dream. Like, I want my friend to grab another dead man's balls. It's just. Did you guys get to choose which one you were working with? Well, that prosthetic was already on the body, the one for Zach. And the one that John used, his prosthetic, uh, he had a prosthetic penis. He, he was like, I'm gonna choose the biggest one. And I was like, well, they modeled that after me and it was mine, so it was a thing. Got weird. Got weird. I wanna know if anyone took it home as like a thing that you could put out on display and be like, that's from Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who do you think took it home? John? John, John took it home. Yeah, yeah, he plays games with it. The scene where uh, John Bass's character gets his uh, manhood stuck in the chair. That was a pretty fun day on set. We got to pick out his prosthetic. You did? So, uh, we all did. We all got to agree upon the size. Were there we multiples got, of yeah, them? Yeah, they like came out with like four options. So They're like, funny. which one do you want to be, John? And we were like, oh, maybe that one. Dwayne was like, give him the little one. I was like, oh, no, no, please, please. <laughs> People are going to think it's real. So they bring it out on a tray, different ones, and you oh, go, yeah. it was a silver platter. Yeah. Which? Which, Which one do you size want? should his manhood be? Did anyone get to keep the prosthetic afterwards? Mm, I don't know where that went. <laughs>
I've got it. Yeah, <laughs> it's in Zach's freezer. Did you get to choose the prosthetic thing for yours? No, but I, I was mesmerized by the craftsmanship. The thing that stuck in my head was the thing that stuck in that beach chair. Oh, thanks. You're thanks welcome. So, this is one of the best scenes in the movie, if not the best. <laughs> and I'm sitting next to the my guy favorite, who started it. My favorite thing to talk about, my dick getting stuck in a, in a beach chair. He loves it. Yeah, it's, uh, and, and, and we're having a blast here talking about it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a memorable scene in the movie, right? Kelly said that you got to choose your own prosthetic and they brought it out in a silver tray. Oh, tray. That wasn't a prosthetic. They did bring out a couple and they were like, John, which one do you want? And I was like, the largest, thank you very much. Wasn't it, was it a something filled with beans? Oh, no, no, that was for the, la the last, that was scene. for the run. It was like a condom full of beans, right? Yep. So in the yeah. scene where you're running, did yeah, you see I, that there were bloopers at the end and they really, they like, they Focus pan down to on. my my shorts. That is that is a uh, uh, a condom filled Full with beans. beans. It was uncomfortable. That's I mean, it, but man. you know what? I lived in uncomfortable the for most of these movies. The things we do for so. our craft. You yeah. Know? And you had a naked shower scene as well. Just Actually, that's the one I felt most comfortable doing. That was the scene I felt the most because I was like. I got this. <laughs> that like that that was not acting. That was me being like, I, I know how to feel uncomfortable. <laughs>